In this video, Cresco International will demonstrate how to use IBM Watson Analytics to analyze social media topics and trends. This helps companies identify the pulse of an audience by enabling intuitive, guided data analysis of social channels. We first have a simple overview of the company Whataburger. Here we only enter one topic entitled Whataburger. When you drill through the topic, you can determine what kind of terms should be included or excluded in the topic and specify different kinds of context terms that surround the included items, which means under the level one topic Whataburger, we can decide to focus on level two topics such as food and service. The right panel shows the suggestion keywords that are related to Whataburger. As social media changes every second, you can refresh to see what the latest suggestions are. In the theme section, you can decide how to break down your topic into attributes. In this case, we just want to focus on its overall behaviors, so we do not break the topics here. Watson Analytics for Social Media allows you to specify the time interval you want to focus on. Here we focus on the recent one month to get the latest social media trends. Selecting all four languages provided and choosing the source from Twitter, we can now start creating the analysis. The results come from seven parts, topics, themes, sentiment, geography, source, active authors, and demographics. In topics, we can clearly see the social media trends of each day. In the last month, 19,226 mentions on the topic Whataburger has been detected in 18,545 documents. As you can see, there are more mentions on February 4th and January 19th. In the sentiment results, most of the mentions are neutral. Nearly 23% of the tweets are positive and ambivalent towards Whataburger, while nearly 9% are negative. Besides sentimental tests, we can also focus on geography characteristics of those Twitter mentions. We can see among all 19,226 total mentions, 8,159 are from the United States. The rest are from all over the world. Drilling down to the lower geography level, we can see the detailed Twitter mentions per state. Most of the mentions come from Texas. Next, we go to the detailed city level where we can see how Whataburger is discussed in each city. There are more mentions in Austin, College Station, Corpus Christi, Dallas, Fort Worth, Houston, and San Antonio. Watson Analytics for social media also provides the ability to track the source of all of the mentions. In the author page, the top 20 contribution authors will be shown in the tree map according to the volume of the content. The deeper color indicates there are more followers of this author. Some people choose to reveal their gender, marital status, and parental status on the social media channel. In the demographics session, we can see the percentage of mentions by demographics. For those who do not share their demographic information on the social channel, Watson Analytics for social media will indicate it as blank. At the same time as generating visualized reports, a data set that supports those findings has also been created. We can perform filters on the data sets and the above chart will also change in dynamics. This data set can be downloaded for further data mining activities or can be loaded into other analytics tools. After the overview, we now move deeper to get some detailed trends such as the food and service at Whataburger. This time, we create a new project called Whataburger 2. In the food topic, we specify the terms. Then we choose several keywords that are related to food and put them into context terms. Also, we specify some keywords that are related to service. Choosing the length to be one month and selecting four languages, Specifying the source to be Twitter, we start the analysis. 561 mentions directly related to food and service of Whataburger have been detected in 559 documents. There are also 521 mentions about food, while only 40 mentions about services. In the sentiment test, we can see that 40% of comments are positive and ambivalent towards service, while food is about 16%. Moving to the demographics, we can see males are more likely to comment about the service, and we can notice the large percentage bar here. After digging through food and service, we want to further see social media trends towards Whataburger and its competitors. 
We now create a new project called Head to Head. Beside the topic Whataburger, we also enter Five Guys and In and Out as competitor topics. In Themes, we specify the detailed category or field we want to compare the three topic companies. In this case, we choose food and service as two fields with several keywords related to each theme. Choosing the period to be one month, selecting all four languages, and specifying the source to be Twitter, we now start the analysis. In topics, we notice that Whataburger is the hottest topic among all three companies. Whataburger has mo the most mentions every day on Twitter. Then we move to theme parts. We only have 1,103 mentions on food and 35 mentions on service out of 17,135 total mentions. People are most likely to direct comments on in and outs food, then followed by Five Guys and Whataburger. When it comes to detailed levels, the ranking order has changed based on the keywords mentioned. In the sentiment analysis, we notice that Whataburger has the highest percentage of positive and ambivalent comments, but at the same time, it also has the highest percentage of negative comments. Back to the welcome page, three data sets have been created and share the same name of its analytics project. These can also be loaded into other analytics tools for analytics usage or directly loaded into other functions of Watson Analytics.